Guten Tag! Hi, my name is Lily. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be on packing for an exchange year and more specifically CBYX, but this can apply to any exchange year. Hope you don't mind, this is my cat. There's another one underneath him and they may be popping up and around during this video. So to start off, I did CBYX 2019 to 2020. So we did have the Washington DC seminar. So that was about two or three days. And then I also had language camp before I went off to my host family. So that includes a little bit more specific clothing and specific packing methods, but I will be discussing what I brought what type of suitcases I brought, and then some tips and what you do wanna bring and what you shouldn't bring because I know a lot of people, including myself, brought some stuff that we definitely did not need to bring. So to start off, I'm going to discuss some recommendations for suitcases. So because of CBYX, they pay for two suitcases to bring, and that is a carry-on and a large suitcase. So carry-on and check bag. For the large suitcase, I just used a regular large suitcase. So I used that, and I would recommend with that not to get one too big because you could overpack and that was a problem with a lot of people too just because their space doesn't mean that it fits the weight requirement for the carry-on suitcase i brought a four-wheeled one and four-wheeled ones were really helpful because if you already have this big suitcase that is roughly 50 pounds then you have another suitcase that is around 30 ish 40 ish pounds you want to have one that has four wheels on it because then you can either roll it in front of you and, and then lastly is the backpack for under the seat you won't be able to put anything in the overhead compartment if that is where your carry-on bag goes and i used my backpack that i used for my school and also for their travels while throughout europe for packing i recommend and a couple of my friends did this as well too for dc those three days we recommend you packing whatever you need in that backpack pack all of your language camp stuff in your carry-on suitcase so the smaller one because you're only there for a month and you don't really need a wide variety of clothing anyway so you want to make sure that you have that but then you also don't need it go into your huge big suitcase because you're just gonna have to repack that at the end of the month that is some packing tips at least general and then now we're on to the actual clothing that you want to bring with you. So the first thing that I recommend is pack what you would normally wear and not what you think you would wear. The truth is, if you really want to wear some sort of style, you can most likely get it wherever you're living. And also another tip is different regions have snow more than others. So you want to either ask your host family if you should bring snow boots, but still just pack accordingly because it will still be cold. And if your snow boots are the warmest shoes you have, you probably want to bring them because it will be cold walking to school or walking to wherever you're going. Next, for the estimates of my clothing, this was asked for because you tend to overpack when you're packing, even just for like an easy weekend trip. So, and this may sound like too little, but I actually ended up buying more clothes out there and I ended up having to leave clothes back in Germany because I just simply couldn't fit them. So to begin, for pants or bottoms, I had three pairs of jeans, two skirts, two casual dresses, one of them was long sleeve, the other one was short sleeve, and then one fancy dress. It was just like a professional dress. And then I had two pairs of shorts, and then I had one pair of leggings. And the one pair of leggings is very off-brand for me because in America, I typically wear my leggings all the time because it's comfy clothes, but in Germany it's just more of seen as workout pants and not necessarily ones that you wear out in public. Now on to tops or t-shirts. I have it all written down here, but so I had two long sleeve shirts and then I had one cardigan, which I wish I would have brought more, but or at least just one more, but I also ended up buying more out there. I had four sweaters, which was really helpful. Two tank tops, that was more of during language camp because the rest of the time that I was there is fairly cold. I had, I believe, eight-ish t-shirts. I'm not sure on how accurate that is, but you get more t-shirts when you're there. And also one of my friends said, Christina, she said that she brought way too many t-shirts and the only time she ever wore them was in language camp. I just recommend packing more warmer clothing. Then for some extras, and I think of these as more of like cold weather extras, 
I had three different jackets. So I had like one lightweight, one rain jacket, and then one puffy jacket. And I felt that was the perfect amount. And then I had two scarves and scarves are actually very funny because in America I never wore scarves as then in Germany they were like my savior because <laughs> I would always wear them all the time and I would keep my neck warm and I can always pull it up to like warm up my nose I could do anything and it was perfect for me and then I had two pairs of tights I typically wore them with like my dresses or my skirts but sometimes I would even wear them underneath my jeans if my legs were really cold that day and it seemed to warm me up quite nicely then I had one hat and I brought one hat but then I ended up buying a cuter hat out there and then I also had had one headband. It's just like something that wraps around your head and keeps your ears warm. I really liked it. Then on to PJs. I think I had three PJ shirts. Two of them were short sleeves and one of them was long sleeve. And then for PJ bottoms, I had one pair of PJ shorts and then I had two PJ bottoms, like long pants and one of them was sweatpants. And then for some extras, I brought one bathing suit because I n never really went swimming other than when we went to the beach and in like Greece and Italy. And then with underwear and bras, bring as many as you think you'll need. I definitely think you'll need them the most during language camp because you only get to do laundry once every two weeks. So plan accordingly. And then socks. Socks was a major one for me, but I'm also just a huge sock wearer in general. And I brought six ankle socks, four pairs of fuzzy socks, and two super thick socks. Recommended super thick socks because your feet get freezing cold. But I definitely wish I had brought more ankle socks because especially during language camp, I was going through them so fast because every single day I would go out and do something. I'd always wear my sneakers, but you can plan however many socks you wear, but I definitely ended up buying more of those while we went on excursions during language camp because I needed it. And then next is shoes. I'm not a big like sneaker head as they say, or just like big on shoes in general. I just wear whatever is comfy and I can walk in and it keeps my feet warm in those times. So I had one pair of sneakers, brought my Nikes with me and I wore those all the time, all the time. Like, <laughs> whenever I needed to, even to school, gym class, everything. I loved them because they were so practical. Then I had Converse with me, low rise. Those are typically fashionable there. Then I brought my flats to go with my nice outfit. Then I had my Birkenstocks. I love my Birkenstocks. I ended up buying two more pairs while I was out there. And it's just, it's big in Colorado where I live. So I don't know, I just needed more and I wore them because they were comfy, but they're considered a summer shoes. So you'll most likely only wear them during the summer or spring. <laughs> And then I brought my boots, so my normal boots, which are just like typical up to mid shin, and it just kept me warm. It was good during the winter because I didn't want to wear sneakers where my ankles were exposed during the winter, so otherwise I'd be freezing cold. I also brought snow boots. Like I said earlier, you can bring them if you know you'll get snow. Most German places do get snow, but it's just up to you. Um, and then lastly was my slippers and I'm very happy for my slippers because my host family we wore house shoes So then it would keep our feet warm But also I didn't just have to walk around in my socks or buy anything out there next on to bags So I had my purse and my wallet. I just had like a little purse and it was like a side one So it was perfect for when we were traveling or walking around places because I could keep it close to me and then in my frog Robin or backpack. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll insert a photo here, but yeah, I had that with me because a lot of like my German friends wore those and had those, especially for like school stuff. I need my normal backpack for school, but that's typically fashionable and I was really happy that I brought that because I could fit everything I'd ever need in there. Then I had my school backpack and that's what I brought on the plane with me to go underneath my seat. And then I later got a fanny pack. I never thought that those were so popular, but like Germans would always wear them across their chests, but it was just so nice for when I was going out someplace and I had that, so then it was little and I could keep it on me and I didn't need to bring everything all the time. Now on to toiletries. These are super duper important because there's certain stuff that's different in Germany than it is in the United States. And to begin with was deodorant. Deodorant out there is the spray stuff. You can occasionally find the normal like bar stuff we have out here in the United States, but it's very difficult and it just doesn't seem to be as strong. If I recommend bringing at least four as the minimum 
for toothbrushes, I brought two of them, and I just ended up buying like the packs out there. I have no like hair products I swear by or anything, and I just brought all travel size stuff for at least language camp, and then I just bought whatever I needed when I was out there, and I mean like it's the same prices out there as it is in the United States, nothing's a fortune, so if you just need some normal shampoo and conditioner and body wash, you're fine. I brought with me also like one pack of razors, and that seemed to last me pretty much my entire time out there. Keep in mind I was only there for eight months, but still that's majority of the time out there. And then tampons is another important one, or at least for just feminine products in general. Pads are typically the same out there, but tampons are definitely different. Here in the United States, most of them have that plastic applicator or a cardboard applicator. And if that's typically what you're used to using, I recommend you bringing more or at least one of those 50 packs with you. That's definitely different because in Germany, you can buy the cardboard, but it's typically more expensive, or at least that's where I was, except then they also just have it where it's that cotton swab that's inside the plastic applicator. So if you're comfortable with doing that, by all means, you don't need to bring them, but I just definitely recommend bringing tampons because it is a culture shock, <laughs> at least for us ladies. Um, Band-Aids and Neosporin was one that my friend Maya recommended because Typically, most people have band-aids, but the, it's a lot harder to have like like the ointment to put on cuts, and especially during language camp. Ooh, I definitely recommend Tylenol and Ibuprofen, anything that helps with headaches or pain or anything in general, because I brought a big pack of that with me, and I used it all the time because you don't just typically take ibuprofen or tylenol when you have a headache out there there's more of like natural remedies so if you're used to just taking that and that's how you feel comfortable with handling it but if i did just have a headache i would take a nap and it was only i took that if i really was in pain makeup once again i brought two things of mascara a powder blush i don't wear typically a lot of makeup and then some eyebrow stuff but once again i bought makeup out there just fine honestly my skin did struggle out there, but I just kept on washing my face and honestly, I was kind of happy not to wear a lot of makeup and a lot of Germans typically don't wear a lot of makeup. And then of course, bring your medication. Like anything that you take in the United States, try to see if you can get a year long prescription. And lastly, a major one, and your exchange organization will tell you to bring this, is vitamins. I did not bring this with me and I definitely wish that I did because I noticed I would get sicker easier out there in Germany. Like I was definitely having more stomach problems, I was having more just easy colds and I could only really find like vitamin C or not like any daily vitamins. It took me a while to find those until I knew what to look for. And then lastly for extras and recommendations that I have to bring is I brought a camera with me. That's my number one thing, I brought a camera. And that's just because I do like photography and then I ended up traveling a lot so then I was able to take photos when I didn't have storage on my phone. If that's not your thing, don't worry. Journal! That was something that I wish I had from the beginning. I got at my going away party from one of my friends a journal, but then I just didn't think to bring it and I was so disappointed in myself because at like mid-year, I was seeing everyone like discussing their journals and everything that they did. So of course I had to go about out and buy one. And I mean, it was like $7, but it's worth it. I still write in it almost every day here. Then of course, adapters. That's a big thing because outlets are different there from than the US. I can probably insert a photo here, but it saves your life. Then a laptop. I know a lot of people who did not have one, but once again, I liked videos. I also had to work on some school stuff in Germany from the US, so it just really helped me. Also, speaking on technology, is a flash drive. I just brought mine just in case I needed to like download videos or do something, but I ended up using it for school more than anything and definitely more than in the US, because when you do a presentation, you insert your flash drive or you give your flash drive to your teacher. Definitely recommend bringing that. It's pretty little, pretty easy. So yeah, sorry, there's a cricket in my room. It's just making a lot of noise. <laughs> Next is a water bottle, but in Germany, plastic water bottles cost more and also you have to recycle them and it's just a lot of stuff. So it's easier just to bring a reusable one. And also my friend Christina, oh, I love her for this. She came up with a way to pack more things with her while using her water bottle. She had like one of those Nalgene water bottles with like a wide lip opening. So she put her toothbrush, she put her razor, she put like 
anything like little that she could fit in that water bottle and use that to pack it. She only got stopped at security once or twice, but it saved her so much space from having to carry all those little things in different areas. Next is I had an umbrella. Once again, I think that's on like a packing list anyway. I had one of like those foldable ones where it's just like goes into like a kind of cylinder. The next is a dictionary. I had a German to English dictionary. I had one that was like any word you could think of and then I also had a cute picture one from one of my friends and honestly it helped me because a lot of my teachers let me use it on tests and also the little picture dictionary was nice because I could just sit and read through it and remember oh this is what hat is this is what cat is and lastly is the gifts for the host family and I think that that's super important because they are letting you live there it's in their house for like a year and honestly, it's super fun and it's super cool to give something from like, at least like the United States. Like I gave my host family some Colorado socks and then I also gave a Colorado dish towel and just like a couple other things and they seem to really appreciate it. So yeah, that's practically everything. Thank you for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. And this was a requested video and I've just been super busy lately with school and just figuring out college and everything. So I was just happy I could sit down and make a video for you all. And once again, I hope you'd enjoyed. So, danke schön und auf Wiedersehen.